We all know the Super Monkey is the best tower in Bonanza. I mean, look at the nickname I have for it. But we're going to be using this strategy that you currently see that does not involve the Super Monkey that absolutely shreds in Bonanza. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. And it looks like our opponent is going to be starting off with the Ninja as our first bomb power tower. Whereas we, of course, are going to start off with the bomb. We could technically start off with the ice, but in Bonanza, you practically have infinite money. I say this all the time. So we can easily go for a cluster bomb. And with this cluster bomb upgrade, we're going to be absolutely fine during these earlier game rounds. He's actually going to send us some space greens here. So we're going to cross path this with the top path, because if we do that, then we're going to be ultra fine. But he's got highway man Jericho as his hero. And he's farming. Okay, so that's probably why then he's space sequin. That makes actually a lot more sense. And I'm happy to see a farm user because honestly, nine times out of 10, they tend to be more aggressive, which of course, that's exactly what we want. I want to showcase the strategy and see it in action against a potential four to five BAD rush. Because like I said, this strategy absolutely shreds late game. Even in Bonanza, we're going to have the entire map filled up with a ton of bombs. And then we have the ice to debuff mob class balloons down for us. And with having the village, not only can we buff all of our bombs and ices too with the primary expertise and just the top half upgrades in general, but we have the homeland defense, which makes every tower just significantly stronger on the map. I guess we could just start going for the bottom path upgrades too on a village since again, like this is all we need. Just a cluster bomb. That is how OP this thing is. Oh, wait, he's going middle path upgrades. We have to keep that in account because he might try to IMF loan rush us. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Some blues are actually getting through. That's okay, though. I, I don't care about the life advantage because, again, actually, I haven't even talked about it in this video. But in case you aren't aware, you don't have to worry about the life count until you hit round 100. And how many times does a Bonanza game actually go to round 100 or anywhere near round 100? It pretty much never happens. So. I'm okay with leaking a few lives here and there, especially too. I kind of forgot uh, Highwayman Jericho's balloon adjustment started here. So we're going to be leaking some lives with these camo balloons, but we definitely could go for the radar scanner upgrade on this village. So yeah, let's just do that then. His last tower has got to be the Super Monkey though. I'm kind of banking on that because like I want to go against the Super Monkey user just to show you guys that we can in fact beat the Super Monkey without having the Super Monkey within our strategy. Because yes, I talked about that in the intro. Obviously, it's the best tower because the Super Monkey would always be the best tower if money was not an issue. And in Bonanza, money is not an issue. By the way, I'll probably just go for the recursive cluster here. That seems like it would be pretty good for us to go for. I mean, we could technically go for double cluster as well. So a double 203, but uh, again, we have infinite money, so. We, we easily had the money to go for this. Now, after we go for the Monkey City, actually, wait, we can go for that now. Okay, good, good, good. I now want to transition into constantly eco win with Zebra Balloons. And then once we hit around 4,000 eco, we're going to start eco win with Purples, okay? I hope he's going to be fine here. Because the goal isn't necessarily to kill him here. Um, Okay, he's going to Tower Boost. Fair play, well done. Okay, so yeah, we could probably send Purples now. With him having Ninjas, he actually shouldn't struggle that much to constant Purple eco. I could be wrong, though. Ooh, I definitely could be wrong. Oh my god, he's gonna die here. He's gonna die here. We have infinite money, guys, and he still dies to purples. It's insane. <laughs> All right, so this guy 100% has a super monkey within his strategy since he already has it on the map. Funny enough, it was his first starting tower. Like, he literally started off with a super monkey, but he didn't eco until now. And he also has the farm DJ Benjamin as his hero. I'm hoping and praying that this guy is going to be aggressive, okay? Because although I told you guys that this strategy definitely can beat Super Monkey strategies, that doesn't mean the Super Monkey all of a sudden is bad. No, it's still fantastic in this game mode. He also has the Alchemist. Okay, so Alk buffing Super. I don't think that's the play, but it's not like having the Alchemist is going to hurt him. So I, I guess he's going to be absolutely fine with that. Round seven's here. Let's get the eco win with grouped yellows. Got the bottom path monkey town upgrade on this. But yeah, the last guy, oh my goodness, man. People straight up just die to simple eco. Like, it's insane because if you just constantly eco with the right balloons, you should easily have enough money to go for whatever upgrade you desire. Okay, so he went for a robo monkey on round nine. Like, I, I don't understand the play, but whatever, I guess. Already got the monkey city upgrade on this village too here on round 11. We're looking pretty good. He's going to Alk buff the Robo Monkey. W play. Let's see if this guy can handle Constant Zebra Eco. Oh, dude, he's shredding. He's shredding. Holy crap. Okay, so then he should be good 
against constant purple eco if I can find the button. Okay, there we go. He, he should be good here. Oh, no, he went for Iron Miflone. Oh, no. Okay, he could rush us then. He could theoretically rush us. So, we, we probably should get ready with maybe like a balloon impact or something. A uh, double recursive cluster because I'm assuming he's going to send us ceramics if he does cash out and plans on rushing us. He went for another IMF loan. Okay, yeah. We kind of have to be cautious here. I'm just going to pre-buy then this balloon impact. It has cam detection and everything too. So if he wants to send us a camera rush, be my guest. Okay, I feel like this guy just has no idea what he's doing. He's going for another IMF loan? Like, what? <laughs> I don't understand. I guess he's just not going to rush us. He never decided to, but... We did go for the monkey Opolis down here. I replaced it with a primary menu right here. I'm thinking, where do we want the primary expertise? It's truly the question of all time. I'm thinking more up here. Okay, because I'm going to have like my super brittle, icicle and pale, probably balloon crush, stuff like that. More towards the front of the map. So, yeah, right there is probably the go to spot. I can't exactly remember what the better cross path is for Moab Maulers and stuff. I think it's the bottom path. I think. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it's gotta be. I mean, we definitely don't need the extra range. Or wait, is the bottom path upgrades? Are they extra? Okay, they are the extra range. I mean, look at this range. Like, this is insane. It pretty much covers the entire map. I'm actually going to set this bad boy to strong. And then, like I said, I also need a balloon crush. When you have balloon crush within your strategy, you technically don't even need the icicle impale. Um, so we don't have to technically go for that if we don't want to. But, like, this guy's going crazy with the farms, okay? So, I'm hoping he's going to rush us. So, I definitely need to be quicker with preparing my defenses. But we're going to go for as many bonds as we can inside the range of the primary expertise. Because they'll get the max buffs from those. So, might as well get those down first, you know? Okay, he's selling a lot of his farms. So, he might be going for the true sun god or he's going to rush us here. Which, if he rushes us... I'm okay with that. I mean, it's only... Oh, wait. It's still round 29? I thought it was past round 30. Okay. So, yeah. He might be playing to rush us. He might not. A round 30 rush should be pretty easy to defend against, honestly. Uh, even with this many mob mollers that we currently have. Or more of assassins, I'm sorry. Obviously, the more the better. So, once we get, like, outside the range of the primary expertise, uh, I'll put these down quicker. I just want to have as many as I can possible once again inside of this thing's range okay yeah he's going for what a sun temple maybe it's a support temple it probably is to buff everything okay so that's fine all right he just went for the true sun god over on his side it's currently round 39 yeah we we can't wait too too much longer because although the strategy is good ramping is absolutely insane in battles too so oh okay he's rushing us okay we got we counter we counter tower boost immediately Oh my god, wait, I'm still sending Nico. No, 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 no. We're fine here. Look, we're shredding. We're shredding. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Oh my god, I was not ready. I'm still not ready. I'm still not ready. Wait, I need to find the hotkey. Okay, this is hotkey. Micro this. Okay, we're good here. Trust. Okay. We didn't even use triple damage, by the way. I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to, boys. We're good. Yeah, we're good without it. Look at his side. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, BFBs, though. No. no, wrong thing, wrong thing. Oh, my God. We decimated that rush. That was it, though? That's all you had? You have literally temples all across the map. Of course, it's sinking. He had a true sun god, probably with max sacrificing. I wasn't even ready. I mean, look. We have so many bombs still left. To be upgraded that is actually absolutely crazy wasn't even close ggs okay i wanted to show another game using the strategy and this guy just like randomly rushed me so i kind of wasn't ready for it but it's fine we'll burn a tower boost here in a second and we should be able to absolutely shred let's tower boost now triple damage doom boom homeland and all of these mob assassins and as you can see we absolutely shredded right there. Holy crap. I was not ready. <laughs> Once I freak again, just like the last game. But those were unfortified BADs, okay? So I'm trying to get sent a fortified BAD rush. He's still sending more unfortified. Does he not understand that it's just it's just not going to work? It simply is just not going to work. Okay, but just to be safe, 
We're going to continue on upgrading a lot of these bombs because we still have a lot of them to upgrade. We could probably cycle Holman defense as well. So, yeah, I'll sell that. Or at least I tried to. Okay. Sell. Use that. Boom. We could even micro um, Biker level 20 if we really wanted to. Uh, but I don't think we're going to need to do that. I mean, it definitely couldn't hurt though, right? So maybe, yeah, maybe I will. Okay, my biker's right here. Let's go for him once again. Okay, the position of him does not matter. Let's upgrade him to level 20. I'm going to use another homeland, by the way. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, wait. Tower boost. Okay. And look at that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That Now that's crazy. That is crazy. The whole map is cleared. Whole entire map. If you just combine Tower Boost, Homeland Defense, level 20 Biker, because you get triple damage if you use a level 20 ability. So, it's just crazy. But those were unfortified BEDs once again. So, hopefully he knows how to send fortified, because I, I really want to get sent a fortified BED rush here. So, I, I guess we'll continue on this game unless he surrenders. Okay, fortified BED rush it is here. We're just going to Tower Boost now. We're going to use level 20. Holman, and then all of these abilities, and then we're also gonna counter here. Oh wait, I meant to send fortify. Oh, pfft, that was that's all you had to send. Oh wait, I'm not gonna send him too many then. Are, what, why is he laughing? Did he just bait me, bro? Did this guy just literally bait me right there? You gotta be kidding me. I mean, we're gonna get the win here, cause I, I don't think he's gonna be able to defend. His strategy just simply is not that good. He has wizard heli spike factory. Y you can't even see the spike factories or. You actually barely can see them. Yeah, he, he doesn't defend here. He, he literally just does not defend this. <laughs> we shredded that so easily. Again, if you just combine everything together, the debuffing with the ice, the home and defense, tower boost, just the whole nine yards. This strategy is absurdly freaking strong. 900,000 pops, by the way, for the Moab Eliminator, which is really good. And yeah, looks like our opponent here is finally going to go down. I'm glad that I played another game because the rush in the first game, it was like a little sneak peek though of this strategy's true potential. So hopefully you guys are more satisfied with those results, GG's. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where these balloon upgrade combinations are insane. Every single one of these upgrades that we use has the word balloon in it. Again, it's insane, check it out.